One of the most mesmerizing wonders of the night sky may soon come to an epic finale. High above us, resting on the shoulder of the Orion constellation, lies Betelgeuse, a scarlet supergiant star nearing the end of its life. In late 2019, a strange event gripped the astronomical world. Betelgeuse, usually one of the brightest stars in the sky, began to fade, not slightly, but dramatically. Its dimming was so noticeable that anyone with clear skies and eyes could see it. Month after month, the glow diminished, and speculation surged. Was Betelgeuse dying? Was this the beginning of a supernova? Telescopes across Earth turned toward the red behemoth. Observations confirmed it. Something was happening. But what exactly? Betelgeuse, also called Alpha Orionis, is a red supergiant, the second brightest star in the Orion constellation, after Rigel. Despite being outshined, Betelgeuse captures attention for its color, size, and volatility. Its name, rooted in Arabic, translates to, the armpit of the giant, a fitting title for its place in Orion's form. Astronomers rank Betelgeuse among the ten brightest stars in the night sky, and for many in North America, Europe, and Canada, it's one of the most familiar. But Betelgeuse is no ordinary star. It's massive, nearly 900 times the size of our sun, and it sheds material into space at a rate of roughly one solar mass every 10,000 years. This outflow creates a vast surrounding nebula, a cloud of gas and dust stretching 30 times the Earth-Sun distance, and outweighing the star by a factor of 250. At its core, Betelgeuse fuses hydrogen into helium under immense gravitational pressure. As it ages, hydrogen runs out, and heavier elements like helium and carbon begin to fuse. Eventually, this fusion chain reaches iron, an element that does not yield energy through fusion. When that point comes, the star's balance fails. Its core collapses, triggering a colossal supernova explosion, one of the most powerful events in the cosmos. Throughout history, people have described Betelgeuse's hue differently. Ancient stargazers like Ptolemy called it, ruddy, while early Chinese records noted it as yellow, suggesting Betelgeuse may once have been a yellow supergiant. Massive stars like Betelgeuse burn through their fuel quickly. While our sun will last over 10 billion years, Betelgeuse's life may barely reach 10 million. Astronomers believe we're witnessing its final phase. Yet exactly when the star will explode remains unknown. Betelgeuse pulses in brightness through two main cycles, a smaller rhythm every 400 days, and a longer one lasting about five years. These oscillations are due to changes in the star's size and surface temperature. In late 2019 and early 2020, the star's dimming shocked researchers, its brightness dropped to a fraction of normal, then rebounded in early 2020. Many speculated, was this the last breath before the end? But further analysis revealed another culprit, a massive ejection of stellar material, likely forming a thick dust cloud that briefly veiled the star from our view. Despite centuries of observation, dating back to at least the first century BC, the cause of such dramatic dimming remains partly mysterious. Betelgeuse is also racing through space, traveling at 30 kilometers per second. It was likely ejected from its birthplace in the Orion OB1 stellar group, which also includes the stars in Orion's belt. This movement creates a bow shock, a wave of gas and energy that stretches over four light years ahead of the star. Measuring Betelgeuse's size is a tricky business. As a pulsating red supergiant, its diameter changes constantly, and its glow varies with... In 2009, the European Southern Observatory captured stunning images of the star using the Very Large Telescope Interferometer. They revealed enormous plumes of gas, massive expulsions reaching distances equal to Neptune's orbit. At least six such events have been identified. These eruptions may provide vital clues to how red supergiants lose mass in their final years, a process still poorly understood. Fast forward to 2019. Data from the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories showed that Betelgeuse had blown off a significant part of its outer layer. This was no ordinary solar flare. The surface mass ejection was hundreds of billions of times more massive than anything the Sun has ever produced. As a result, 
Beetlejuice's brightness plummeted, dropping from magnitude 0.5 to 1.7 by February 2020. For weeks, the star remained unusually dim. But no changes in its infrared emission suggested that the core was still stable. Eventually, the star brightened again. But the mystery lingered. So what happened? Many scientists now believe a vast cloud of dust, born from the star itself, drifted in front of it, temporarily blocking the light. While dramatic, this was not yet a supernova. But the countdown continues. Betelgeuse will explode, someday. And when it does, the universe will light up. Despite being about 640 light years away, the blast will be so brilliant that it could outshine the full moon for weeks or even months, visible even during the day. The explosion will release more energy in seconds than the sun will emit over its entire lifetime. Yet Earth is safe. At that distance, no harmful radiation or shockwaves will reach us. Instead, we'll witness a spectacle, a cosmic performance of fire and light, unmatched in human history. Scientists worldwide are watching closely. Using tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble, and ALMA, they monitor Betelgeuse's surface patterns, light fluctuations, and mass outflows, searching for the earliest signs of the coming end. The potential scientific value is enormous. Supernovas emit not only visible light, but neutrinos and gravitational waves, offering insight into the most extreme physics of the universe. Observatories like LIGO, Virgo, and IceCube stand ready, waiting to detect the moment Betelgeuse's core collapses. Red supergiants are one of the least understood stages in stellar life. They are vast, unstable, and complex. Betelgeuse may be the key to understanding them. For now, the star flickers on, a ticking celestial clock in Orion's shoulder. It could explode tomorrow. Or in 100,000 years. No one knows. But when it does, it will not only rewrite textbooks. It will change our understanding of stellar life, death, and rebirth. Until then, we gaze skyward, waiting.